and I noticed that they are more focused on your sodium than anything than any of the other electrolytes. Um, so I'm interested. Um, I'm gonna run at lunch and I will try them and we'll see how that helps because he said that it's usually more of a um, you know electrolyte depletion when you're working out when you're training then it really is that you're hungry so we'll see um, gonna shoot for three servings of electrolytes today do my workout today is a rest day for a jump rope so tomorrow's 500 so I'm gonna do 5k with burpees at lunch it's gonna be hot as fuck so I brought a whole change of clothes today it's already 72 and it's supposed to be what does this say 86 I luckily did not get a migraine yesterday that was close so maybe the boat you know the Botox injections took care of that because I did have that visual change and that was scaring me um, I did get a little stressed out I could use some advice so remember I showed you the pictures of agave which was two Saturdays ago um, my friend and I were out shopping and I put my name in and Derek's boyfriend came down to go fishing um, so I told them I said well I'm gonna put my name in agave if you guys want to come and come to dinner I'll put it in for four and it's usually like a two two and a half hour wait so I did that and him and his friends came and we had a great time him and his friend came and me and Michelle were down there my friend who was married with a kid and um, he, Derek's boyfriend is really married with two children um, but I've never met the wife or the kids um, she doesn't want to do anything I guess because of COVID so <clears throat> Let me just preface this with Derek had really doesn't have a lot of friends. He had a core group of friends growing up and they maintained good friends until I would say till after we got married and then it was kind of like everybody grew up and did, does their own things and he really doesn't hang out with them much anymore. Um, and they'll drive right past our house on the way to the beach and not even stop by and say hi. So I don't really consider them really good friends. But um, Derek went and worked in Philly for a little bit and he met this guy that him and him, they're very close they used to talk all the time that's why I joke around and called him his boyfriend they went fishing together they go out to dinner he comes and stays the night blah, 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 blah. anyways so two weeks ago I was down there's this restaurant that I had been talking to him about but you know with the weight it's kind of a mess and blah 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 well I put my name in and he just happened to be getting to town around that time so they came and joined us for dinner not really thinking about that he's married and she's married and she was more my date and he was Derek's date you know but my friend said her husband got mad and I'm like oh you know that sucks you know it's really and she goes, yeah, I know. It's innocent, whatever. It's no big deal. He'll get over it. That's what Michelle had to say. So I really didn't, you know, stepping back, I look now and I think, wow, I probably would have been super mad at Derek if he went to visit Chris and his wife brought her sister out or a friend out and they went with Derek. I think I would have been really upset, but Derek and I have went through some you know bad parts in our relationship so I feel like there's reasons why we don't like I would have problems like I don't know if Chris's wife had if they've been through something that I don't know about but anyways Derek tra has been trying to call him and it's not going through he's not answering his messages he's not calling him so Derek says to me yesterday, you know, it's been two weeks or, you know, almost two weeks and Chris hasn't responded. You know, I'm going to try to call him at work tomorrow. And I said, well, you know what? I bet his wife is really mad. I 
thinking about it now and I would have probably been really mad um, but to cut you off like you're never allowed to be friends again I'm like wow I said did they go through something that we're not aware of maybe and, uh, he's like I don't know so we called him today and yep he's never allowed to talk to Derek again and I just feel sick to my stomach because it breaks my heart because he doesn't have much outside of our family like that's why I moved and am willing to drive extra every day to go to work so he can have this fishing you know so he can have some downtime so he can you know release stress and it just it hurts it hurts me to my core that she's not allowing them to be friends anymore because of something I did and I really didn't mean anything by it just don't even know what to do. I guess just let time pass and hopefully they can be friends again. I don't know. But, uh, he was supposed to come down in June for when I go away for um, when I go away to the Spartan Run in Ohio. He was supposed to come down and go fishing with Derek. Just I'm heartbroken and the stuff with Dayton School. So maybe my cycle is starting to. <laughs> I have to look. I think I'm at the end. I think at the end of this week is supposed to be PMS. So is that is that what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. Would love advice. I I wanted to reach out to his wife, but I don't want to step on any toes. And also, what do I say? I, how sorry I am that I fucked up. That please don't hold it against Derek and Chris. You know. I'll never take him out to dinner again. <laughs> I just was, you know, down at the beach shopping with my friend and it kind of just turned into, you know, them joining us. I just feel bad. And I, I see it now. I can see it so clearly that she would be upset. <sighs> she doesn't even know we all got shit faced. <laughs> feel terrible. Um, so, I'm just going to try to fast today. I'm hoping that Tate does well on his um, test and I hope I have a good day. It's going to be hot as balls. 86. I'll check in after I run. annoying people are annoying
sorbet or however the hell you say it. It was coconut pineapple antioxidant thing. And I have always stayed away from them because I thought they were high in carbs. As I look at the carb count, and they're 12, but they had 10 grams of erythritol in it. And that's only two net carbs then. Never knew that, so I'll probably be buying more of those, although it wasn't super tasty. It was okay. But being that I was fasting, you know, I like to have a variance of drinks. And so I had my bang, my bubbly, then I had that, and then I realized that had caffeine in it too, so I had uh, my bag, and then the bubbly with caffeine, and then more caffeine. So, a lot of caffeine this morning. Um, then I had just a regular 26 ounces of water. Then I went for my, you know, then I ran over to the Then I decided to do, try those elements, uh, electrolytes that Daniel recommended. They were okay. They were, no, they are better than okay. They were 7,000 times better than snake juice. They were um, a thousand milligrams of sodium. I don't even remember what's in the snake juice. It's probably a lot more than that, but a thousand milligrams is nothing, you know, no light. It has a little bit of magnesium in it, a little bit of potassium. Definitely not your daily recommend. You know, I would probably have to take three of them to get, you know, where I should be. But at least I'm getting some more electrolytes in me. Uh, yes, I would say Daniel suggested that I do that when I'm fasting and training. He thinks that I will feel better. And I will say it did help me. I drank one, I drank about eight ounces of it. So half before I went on my run and then the other eight ounces right when I got back. And I brought two packs home to have maybe another one tonight. Because it's hot. 84 degrees. It's fucking hot. So I need to uh, keep replenishing because I did sweat quite a bit. I should go and take my dogs for a walk. It's just the last uh, thing I'm going to do. I really just don't want to do that. <laughs> Um, which 
anyway, so I'll talk to you guys. Um, I make this summer squash medley. It's um, thinly sliced squash, zucchini, um, if you have like little cherry tomatoes thinly sliced. A lot of people also, it's kind of like a ratatouille, a lot of people um, would slice potatoes really thin and put that in there as well. It's like a real hearty, nice side. Like you can pull all the ingredients out of your garden and slice everything thin and it makes a great side. Well, I don't want to use potatoes because I don't want the carbs and potatoes. So I'm going to do thinly sliced zucchini, thinly sliced squash. I'm going to prep all that today. Um, thinly sliced onion, garlic. So saute some onion and garlic in a pan, big shock. Tons of slices of zucchini and um, zucchini and squash. And if I have some tomatoes, which I don't think I do, I would thinly slice those. And that all goes into a saute pan. Saute that all up with oil. And then you fill it in with some Italian dressing. And then you top it with mozzarella. That'll be a perfect side for that um, pizza uh, chicken tomorrow. And I might go grab a bag of salad too tomorrow on my lunch break. So that's what it is. Um... Yeah, my doggies. Put your head in the car, okay? Um, it's 5.30 and I made it this long. I just gotta keep going. And my goal is to go to lunchtime tomorrow and have a snack or something that'll help me through yoga. And then I just told you my dinner. Hope everyone has a great night. Very Being very active crushing it. Putting lots of pepperonis on thin chicken. Tater's cutting cheese for me. Lots of layers this time. Yum, 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 yum. Can't wait.